Okay everyone, today I'm going to be trying to hack into smart devices using laser light. So a few weeks ago I saw a headline that scientists have figured out how to use pulsed laser light shining on the microphone of smart devices to simulate a human voice talking to it. And you could use that laser light to, for example, open the garage of a home, shining it from a window, for example. The key reason why you can use laser light to simulate a human voice comes in the fact that when you shine a laser on a microphone for some reason in these smart devices, you can actually hear the pulsation of the light. And they're not sure exactly what the mechanism is. They think maybe it may be causing the diaphragm to vibrate back and forth when the light shines on it because the light heats it up and so it moves a little bit and then when it turns off it cools down so it shakes the diaphragm and the microphone. So today I wanted to see if that's really true. Can you actually hear light just by shining it on a microphone? And I'm going to be using my 1.5 watt laser but I don't want to melt the diaphragm of my microphone. This is a little bit too strong. So what I'm doing is I'm just shining my laser light onto a beam splitter and the beam splitter will split up the light so I actually get a little bit less than half based on my angle here. So this is about the laser light that I want here. Still really bright but not burning. Okay, so first I just want to do a proof of concept. See if I pulse this laser light, will I be able to pick it up on a microphone? Now the easiest way to do this is just to block the light and then unblock it really fast. So I can generate a frequency, generate a tone, just by blocking it and unblocking it. And the easiest way to do that is just get a fan and block it. So I'll just be spinning a fan in front of the laser like this. And that should block the laser and we should be able to see the, hear the pulse on the other end. So I'll block the laser here and then I'll put my phone at the other end over there and see if we can pick up the and see if we can pick up the tone of the pulse laser here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the audio from only the phone here. Okay, it's right on the microphone. So turn on my fan. Notice you can't hear it, but it's spinning right now. When I put it in front of the laser light now, So it's in front of it, then off. I'll slow it down. Speed it up. So the audio is only coming from the phone right now. So notice you can't hear it, but then when I block it from the laser now, But if I block the laser light, you can't hear the frequency. Okay, so that is crazy. It is true. You shine a laser light on a microphone and pulse the laser light, you're going to pick up sound. So that means all you need to do is modulate the laser frequency and the microphone will actually pick it up as audible sound. So the next step here is to generate a frequency that modulates according to a human voice. Now in a previous video, I already showed you my audio modulated flashlight. The audio cable modulates the LED light on the flashlight, and so the light gets dimmer, brighter, dimmer, brighter, based on the frequency that's being input into it. And then I have a receiver for that. Basically, it's a solar panel connected to a speaker, and so when you flash light on the solar panel, it sends a pulse of electricity to the speaker and it vibrates the cone. So basically, you can shine a flashlight that's playing music onto this solar panel here, and you'll hear it on on the speaker here. But what I'm going to do now is instead of having it be a flashlight, I'm going to connect it to my laser. So the laser is now going to be pulsing that audio signal. Let's see if we can pick it up on our receiver here. Okay, so the audio I'll be using is just me saying Alexa a million times. Alexa, 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 Alexa. But now I'm going to plug it into my cable here. So now the laser is now going to be pulsing with the same frequencies that I'm using to say Alexa here. Okay, let's play it. Okay, so the sound is coming out of this speaker now. <laughs> now this is actually pretty awesome because what that means is that you can have sound with laser-like pre precision. So look at me all the way back here. 
No sound, no sound, but get it in the laser light. That's awesome. Okay, so it's definitely modulating this laser signal here. So this in and of itself is pretty awesome. That means you could shine a laser light for miles and only pick up that signal in that tiny little laser light dot of space. So I know that using this speaker, I can easily trigger my Amazon device here. See, it triggered it. So this is, but this is cheating because it's actually using the solar panel to vibrate the speaker and then the speaker's just using audible sound to trigger the Amazon device. But now here's the real test. If I shine the laser right on the microphone of the Amazon device, will it cause it to trigger? Let's try it. Alexa, are you online? I am connected to the internet. Okay, let's start it. Make sure it's working. It works. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely saying it, but it's not working. So for some reason, it's not picking it up on the echo dot. Let me try it with my iPhone again, because I know for sure I was able to get the frequency with the iPhone. Let me try my iPhone camera and see if I can pick up anything. Alexa. Alexa. So for some reason, this frequency I'm able to pick up with my uh, solar panel setup, but not the microphone setup. Okay, so it looks like I wasn't able to pick up the laser frequency modulation with the microphone when I was using it with my voice modulation. But I was able to pick it up when I had the fan going. And I think the reason is because with this system set up where I have the modulated frequency with my flashlight here, that is actually more of a sine wave. So it slowly increases intensity and then goes down in intensity and picks up in intensity and then goes down in intensity. And so the intensity is never just on, off, on, off. So it's not like a square wave. So with a device like this, with my speaker hooked to the solar panels, I'm able to pick up that modulation. But on a microphone, what you need is you can't have normal sinusoidal waves like this. What you need is a square wave, I believe, where you need a, a hard on, off, on, off. And so that's why I believe it worked with my fan, but not my voice setup like this. So in a future video, I'll probably try again to pulse it with a square wave instead of a sine wave, and I bet it'll work. So hold for a future video, we'll see what happens. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.